guys and welcome to another Wargame Red Dragon tutorial video with me Bubblebox and today we're going to be looking at the aircraft in the deck system. We did discuss the general handling and micromanagement of aircraft in the last video so just check that one out if you want to see how to sort of move your aircraft around and uh, stuff like that. And in this one we will be discussing the various types of aircraft and their best uses using the USA and Russian aircraft as examples like we normally do and you can kind of extrapolate that to the other nations because we'll cover most things so a quick look at the stats panel first so we'll look at all the weapons when we go through the individual aircraft there aren't a lot so we'll be able to go through most of them for the russian and the american decks um the first thing to note though is that look at this most nearly all aircraft don't have any armor so they're really really vulnerable to missile attack there are a couple of exceptions and i'll point them out as i go through the aircraft but pretty much all the aircraft apart from those very rare exceptions don't have any armor at all but what they do have is this ECM electronic countermeasure and this is incredibly important when looking at which planes to bring in especially for Red Dragon with all the anti-air missiles that are flying around so the aircraft are, are very very fragile they're like paper and they get shot down really easily almost no planes as I said have got armor and rely on this thing the ECM rating to survive enemy missile fire now Having no or a very low ECM uh, means an aircraft will get shot down very easily by the missiles, while high ECMs can generally, not always, because it is sort of a roll of the dice, can generally be expected to dodge at least a couple of missiles. But remember that by no means is ECM going to make your aircraft absolutely invincible. And it is a bit of luck involved when flying your aircraft around and using the ECM to deflect um, enemy missile fire. So let's get on and have a look at the different types of aircraft. Now the roles, as far as the roles are concerned, there's a number of different roles, six of them in fact. We've got air superiority fighters, and these generally just carry sort of anti-air missiles and guns. You've got anti-tank uh, aircraft, which we'll have a look at later. Bombers, you've got interceptors, which are air superiority fighters as well, but with very nice, very long range, but no, no good at dogfighting. We'll have a look at them as well. You've got your multi-role, which can sort of do bombing runs and also um, a bit of air-to-air -air combat as well. And then you've got your seed aircraft, which we spoke about a little bit in the last video. So have a look at that if you want to know how to use seed aircraft. Um, but uh, sort of anti-air defense, if we get anti-air defense missiles, we'll have a look at those as well. And in this video, we're going to look at the air superiority fighters and the seed aircraft. And in the next video, the rest of the aircraft. So without further ado, let's get our get along and we'll start having a look at the American aircraft and start uh, just by having a look at the air superiority fighters with the Americans now the Americans have got four decent uh, well three decent I would say air superiority fighters plus one so we'll have a look at the plus one no we'll have a look at the good ones first I think we'll have a look at the Eagles so you've got the Eagle F-15A and then you've got the Eagle F-15C upgrade so we look at the F-15A on the right here first so you've got your three weapons and all the most of the good air superiority fighters will have your three weapons. You've got your long range missile, your medium range missile and your short range missile. So the long range, generally they have a range between sort of 5,000 and 7,000 meters. Although the, the interceptors which we'll look at later can go up to 10, 11,000 meters. But generally they're around 7,000, 6,000 meters. This one's got the AIM-7M Sparrow missile. You can see a nice accuracy of 50% with the stabilizer at 50% as well. Stabilizers and accuracy are really, really important with these aircraft. And one dilemma players have is whether to bring one in that's vetted up and has got slightly better stats or get the standard one and get maybe two of them or get the vetted up one and maybe just get one. So that really is a personal choice whether you want planes sort of circling around at the back. You might want two so you can keep swapping them or, you know, if you just have one, if you're quick at microing and see the enemy coming and use like the mini map a lot, you might be able to just get away with having one for some players and for some maps but this one nice as i say i digress but a nice sort of uh missile there then you've got the medium one which um most of the medium ones have between sort of 3000 and 4000 meter range um nice accuracy and stability uh, stability stabilizer again and then you've got your vulcan minigun which can shoot at helicopters and airplanes and a lot of these medium missiles can shoot at helicopters as well so if you fly this one towards a helicopter it will shoot it first with its missile and then it will follow up and shoot it with its gun as well 
so you may well be able to take out many a helicopter with this thing and you can also shoot at ground units with these guns as well strafe infantry and take out armored trucks although it's quite difficult to take out tanks with these you can probably stun tanks but not take them out excuse me um stats at the bottom here of course incredibly important most nearly all, all aircraft i think have got a strength of 10. this one's got an ecm rating of 30 which is low but not terrible uh, but what i do like is it's got a thousand kilometer speed without the speed i think is good because it means it can get in and get out as fast as possible as slower aircraft are vulnerable for a longer period of time when they're near the enemy stealth is important as well the stealth of course is uh the chances of your your weapon your weapon your vehicle or uh, your unit being detected by the enemy so if it's got a a better stealth then it can get closer before it gets seen by the enemy air defenses turn radius is also very important as well this has got sort of a medium turn radius of 350 so not terrible for sort of uh, a, an air superiority fighter but not brilliant as well you can get better of course the tighter they can turn the better they are going to be in an up close dogfight now these long range missiles aren't fantastic for long range for for, for, for dog fighting these medium ones can be good but a lot of it's done with the gun when you get into really close combat and aircraft turning in on each other and of course if you've got an aircraft directly behind your aircraft evac it immediately so it doesn't get shot down so that's the F-15A Eagle. Then you've got the upgrade, the F-15C Eagle. With time, it's got a slightly, I believe, a slightly upgraded missile, the AIM-120A Amran. And the difference is, is that it's got a better accuracy and a slightly better stabilizer as well. So you get a little bit of an upgrade there. For an extra, you've got an extra 50 points to pay though, of course, remember. And then the AIM-9M is a slight upgrade on the AIM-9L. And again, you've got the slightly better accuracy and the slightly better stabilizer. The range is pretty much as, oh, in fact, the range on this one is slightly better as well. Very, very slightly better. Or just slightly better. Then you've got the same Vulcan missile with the same stats there. However, you do have a much better ECM at 50%, so better chance of survival and your speed's pretty much the same time over target is the same yeah the turn radius is the same so you pay an extra 40 points do i say 50 you pay an extra yeah 40 points and you get a slightly better accuracy and stuff like that and a slightly better ecm for there so nice aircraft and then we've got the block 52 very nice i really like this one it looks pretty cool as well and this time you've got your AIM-128 AMRAN missiles, four of them. I didn't mention numbers of missiles, that can be important. So for example, on the Eagle you've got four of each and four of each. On the other Eagle you've got four and four. On the block you've got four and two medium. Now it can be important and again for me it depends on how good I am at microing. And, um, if it's got like two missiles it's going to fire them quite quickly and then evac itself. Whereas if it's got four, it's going to hang around a bit to fire all its four missiles. So it's a bit of swings and roundabouts with the amount of missiles you get. I generally take them, if it's slight, if I can get away with it, with slightly less missiles actually, so I don't have to micro them too much. But that's again, that's a, that's what why Red Dragon's so good because you can choose your own personal kind of preferences for some things. There's never any completely right or completely wrong answer to to doing things. Again, we've got. Uh, Long range missiles, accuracy and stabilizers as the upgraded Eagle, 60%, 60%. Got the AIM 2M with a 60%, 60% again. Two this time, of course, not the four. And then you've got your Vulcan. And this time you've got a very nice, EC well, a decent ish ECM. Um, speed, very nice, 1000 kilometers. And this time you've got a very nice turning radius. So this one would do quite well as a dogfighter as well as being at a long range so i really like this aircraft it's 160 points but it is very nice indeed and then we've got the f4j phantom 2 one of the older aircraft 1967 um looks a bit dumpy uh if that's a word um it's got long range and medium range no gun on this one so it wouldn't be very good as a dogfighter this is sort of a standoff air superiority fighter a cheap one the problem with this one is its accuracy. The accuracy of these missiles is not very good and it does only have two. So, you know, are they going to hit? This is the question. Basically, you're going to have to fire these long range, wrong range ones and move in a bit closer, fire these and hope a couple of them hit. I mean, so it's not the best aircraft. 
It's got a 900k speed, so that's not too shabby. It's no good as a dogfighter at 400. This is a standoff aircraft, and it's a funny one to be able to use. So, but it is cheap. So if you want a cheap one, you can get it. I, I don't know. I tend probably not to because just of the problems in using it, really. So that's the American air superiority fighters. So if you have a look at the Russian air superiority fighters, they've got a nice selection. Um, we're not going to look at... Oh, we've got interceptors now. We don't want to look at the interceptors at the moment. Look at them in a minute. So these are the Russian air superiority fighters. We've got... Um, let's look at the decent ones first. Let's look at the SU-27S. So these, I would say, are probably... And the SU-27PU, sort of analogous kind of the Eagles, I suppose, if you want to compare them to the Americans. You've got these R-27... Are Vimpel missiles on the SU-27S. Long range, medium range, gun, very similar to the US aircraft I've spoken about before. Accuracies, 60%, 60% stabilizers, decent ECM, nice turning radius on these guys. So both these guys can be used as dogfighters as well as long and medium range missile launches as well. Speed, good. The upgraded one's slightly faster. The upgraded one's got a better ECM as well, slightly better. 30 points more, so might be worth it. Um, what else? The gun, the GSH V01 is pretty much the same. The Vimpel missiles, we've got a slight upgrade here somewhere. Not sure, it looks pretty much exactly the same. And the long range missiles looks pretty much exactly the same as well. You just get more of them. Again, more of them isn't necessarily better when you're looking at the aircraft and this SU-27 looks basically not too shabby at all as a fighter just a little bit slower um, it looks although the upgrade looks a bit better look at that that's got a nice uh, color scheme on there the S is that the SU-27S yeah that's the SU-27S and the PU oh looks exactly the same I thought it might look a bit different oh it does look different so there's the SU-27S and this year, SU-27P. So if you want to go for looks, probably go for the SU-27P. It's got a better paint job. Now then, what else? We've got the... We'll have a look at this one next. The Yak-141. Now, this is a little bit of an older model, I guess. Is it? Well, it's 1989, so it's not too old. It looks a bit... A little bit dumpy. It's got, again, long, medium, short range. It's got 7,000 meters on its long range. Nice accuracy and nice stabilizer. Similar with the medium range. Uh, nice accuracy, nice stabilizer. And the range pretty much the same as all the other medium medium uh, range missiles. And a gun as well. You can shoot helicopters with this guy. Uh, ECM is pretty decent and it's fast. So even though it looks a bit odd, it doesn't look fantastic, it is still a pretty, pretty nice aircraft. The thing that lets it down, the only thing that lets it down probably is its turn radius. So in a dogfight, it's going to be outturned by some of the slightly more expensive and fighters with a better turn radius so where are we let's have a look next at the mig 29 pd um looks all right sort of up in the air stance there looks not too bad it's got this time it's got just long and medium range missiles so the medium range missiles are quite long as well but it hasn't got a gun on this one it's no good for attacking helicopters at all it's got quite a wide turning radius it's fast so this is one you probably keep you need to keep this back a little bit not get it involved in dogfights and it could do okay but the accuracy and stabilizers again as you go down in expense or if you go to a cheaper aircraft the accuracy and the stabilizers tend to start decreasing as does the ECM rating which is 20 on this one and then we've got the MiG-23 ML and the MiG-23 MLD let's have a look at those these are the sort of cheaper end of the market I suppose and this time you just got the medium range and the guns uh, they can shoot down helicopters. Now, one thing I didn't mention is using aircraft to shoot down helicopters. And that is where these cheap aircraft can come into their own. So if you've got a very expensive gunship, say a big expensive like American gunship worth like 130, 140 or more points, and you want to get, get rid of it, you could suicide one of these guys to take out these choppers because they cost less points, I suppose. It's one tactic people do use. But on the basic model, again, you can see it's cheap. You've got the basic weaponry, very basic weaponry, but the accuracy and the stabilizers are down again. The ECM, no ECM on this one. The speed's not too bad, but a poor turning circle. This wouldn't be even good as a dogfighter. This one, pretty much the same, except you've got a slightly better. You have got a better accuracy here 
on the medium range missile but again the turning circle lets it down a little bit so this might be quite good against helicopters so that's the cheap end of the market if you want a cheap one and you want to sort of you know save your points i guess um so that's the americans we've done haven't we and the uh, uh, the last thing that we would definitely want to have a look at are the intercept not the last thing sorry the next thing we'll have a look at are the interceptors now the russians first of all i've got really nice interceptors the mig 2031 and the mig 31m and if you look at these you'll see the range on these is huge so these have got a range of 10,500 meters the mig 31 has got a decent ecm it's very very fast 1100 k's i don't see i don't remember any aircraft being faster than that very bad put turning radius at 500 but these aren't for dogfighting these are purely for having back behind your lines circling around shooting aircraft that appear uh, close to your lines or coming over your lines that's basically all they can be used for and the mig 31 is really a bit of an upgrade um what's better on it oh actually it's a, oh sorry the mig 31 m should i say it's a bit of an upgrade it hasn't got the gun it's 10 points more but it's got a longer range. You can see now it's 11,900 meters. And all the other stats, I think, are pretty much the same. Oh, it's got a much, yeah, it's got a slightly better HE power, uh, one up on that one. Yeah, better suppression, but pretty much it's the longer range and no gun on it. But what would you use the gun for on an interceptor? You're not going to be getting it that close. Now, the Americans haven't got any interceptors in their air deck, but 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 they've got one in their naval category and probably we should have a quick look at that maybe yeah we'll have a quick look at that so we just want the american navy roll um aircraft get rid of them aircraft interceptor and this is it the f-14 tomcat only available in the naval deck you can't get this in the normal air deck in the americans and you can see it's similar to the russian one it is a really really nice aircraft it's got these really long F aim 54 phoenix missiles with a range of 11,900. it's got some medium ones as well with a decent accuracy the accuracy on these isn't fantastic and then it's got its gun it's got a decent ecm and it's fast but the turn radius again it's not a dogfighter it's for hanging back you could use this to protect your ships flying over your ships your ships would protect the aircraft because of their long range anti-aircraft missiles and the aircraft would protect the ships against any incoming fighters hopefully so it would deter people from from flying basically um, anti-ship airplanes at your task force so that's really what that would be used for so back to the aircraft though back to air and now we're going to have a look at the seed aircraft these of course your anti for taking down uh, your the air defenses the radar guided air defenses of the enemy and we'll start off with the americans and we'll have a look at this guy first looks absolutely awesome it is a fantastic plane in reality and in wargrain red dragon as well the raven everyone knows the raven and uh it's a really nice it's got a long range at 5250 so it doesn't have to get too close that's within range of most sort of radar guided missiles just at the edge of their sort of um range and with outside the range of many nice accuracy nice stabilizer very fast um stealth is good so it's going to be able to get close before it gets seen and it's got a really nice ecm of 60 so it should doesn't always but it should take two or three hits before or before or two or three shots at it before it takes a hit and goes down so really really nice aircraft then we've got the prowler now the prowler isn't as good because you have to get a bit closer but it has, it has got a nice accuracy and nice stabilizer it is a decent aircraft it's a bit slower so it's going to trundle around a bit more it's got a nice ecm so it could probably avoid a couple of missiles the thing that lets it down really are its speed um its accuracy a little bit because it does have to get a bit closer so basically it's more dangerous to use this although i think you get two of these in your deck rather than the one raven and then you've got the weasel which is the cheapest of the three but the range let this down because it does have to get quite close to the enemy in order to take it out so it's much much more vulnerable to getting taken out uh, it's got a decent ecm of 40 percent and an okay speed of 900 
but it does have these uh, aim medium missiles so it can double up a little bit as an air superiority fighter if you're desperate and can defend itself whilst on a mission whereas of course the prowler doesn't have any air defenses and the raven doesn't have any either any air defense missiles should i say so these can't defend themselves if they get attacked by other fighters they're just going to get taken out so be aware of that as well as the weasel does have that little bit of defensive capability and as far as the Russians are concerned with their seed aircraft, get rid of the interceptors. Just the Russians up. That's it. We've got a couple here to choose from. The best one is probably the MiG 25BM, a little bit analogous to the Raven. It looks pretty nice as well, sort of a bit up in the air with the nose on the ground there. Uh, decent range, 5,250. Very nice accuracy and stabilizer. Nice ECM, good speed. So. 150 points it's a pretty nice aircraft again it can't defend itself whilst out on a mission and then you've got the su-24 can defend itself it has got a little bit of a mini gun not that useful to be honest but can defend itself i suppose a little bit um lesser range 4550 a bit analogous to the prowlers i suppose nice accuracy and stabilizer and an okay speed and a little bit of an ECM not fantastic so much more vulnerable when flying around but the uh, MiG 25 BM is a much better one I've, uh, is, is the much better one I guess so that's the seed aircraft so that's look really looking at the air superiority fighters and the seed aircraft in the deck as well as a quick look at the interceptors as well so I hope you got something out of this video guys in the next one I'm going to be moving on and looking at all the bombers and the multi-role aircraft so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.